Hey kiddies, it's Terrible Double Feature time once again, and this week we're looking at the uh, Michael Ensign Hotel Manager Double Feature. Uh, you're going to have to forgive me, but I got a gig and I'm working 12, 10 to 12 hour days pretty much non-stop, and uh, so this is going to be short. I can't count how many times people find me on the street and say, Tom, we watch your videos all the time and we love the triple features. But is there ever a time when you can't make three? And, you know, to all of my adoring fans, yes, it actually happens more often than not where I'll get, like, a really fun idea for a triple feature, and as it turns out, there's only three, only two movies instead of three, thus, uh, you know, negating its magic power. But since uh, we're going to do this uh, pretty quickly, I thought, you know, it might be a good time to break out one of these double features. So, Michael Ensign, the hotel manager. Michael Ensign... As you can see, he is a that guy. You've seen him in just about everything, but always in the background, but uh, like in Solaris or uh, Composition of a Dangerous Mind. But two of his uh, biggest roles were playing this beleaguered hotel manager, first in uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall, and then Ghostbusters, which is also going to be a menu for this week. Pink Floyd's The Wall is, as the title suggests, the album The Wall, by Pink Floyd, done as a feature-length concept film, you know, concept album, concept film, about uh, Pink Floyd, the man, who, you know, is not a real man, it's a band, but for the purposes of the album, they make him a man, uh, who's going through all sorts of existential crises and has a complete mental breakdown. He has this breakdown in a hotel room, and he just won't leave, despite poor Michael Ensign the hotel manager informing him that it's time to go. Things just get weirder and weirder, and mercifully, uh, Mr. Ensign doesn't have to deal with it after Bob Hoskins shows up and gets him out of there. Now, Mr. Ensign has even bigger problems in Ghostbusters, where he is the uh, Ghostbusters' second customer, even though uh, Janine says we've got one. He's actually number two. Uh, he tell, uh, he calls them to show up at, uh, the hotel, which, I don't know the name of the hotel. I'll have to look that up. He, uh, gives the Ghostbusters the lowdown on the, uh, disturbances on the, uh, 17th floor? Maybe? Uh, yeah, I'm getting made fun of, because I don't know this. Uh, that have gotten progressively worse until they finally just full-on manifest as Slimer. But luckily, there is such a service as the Ghostbusters that are totally legitimate. And uh, they show up and they save the day, you know, not without causing uh, a non-insubstantial amount of property damage. And thus, having having uh, came, saw, and uh, kicked its ass, the Ghostbusters, led by the always wonderful Peter Bakeman, uh requests uh, their, pay, their, uh, their fee, which is about $5,000. That, which, uh, as Mr. Einstein says, is outrageous, and he refuses to pay it, you know, until Dr. Ray Stantz uh, informs him that he could just as easily put the ghost back in the room. And so, uh, stuck between uh, a, rock and a, hard, uh, a rock and a hard place, Mr. Einstein goes through with paying. And thus, that's the end of him in uh, these two movies. It's hard to say what order you should watch these in. Uh, as always, I'm flexible about it, because, like, on the one hand, uh, Ghostbusters would clearly be the closer, as it is. It is Ghostbusters. There is almost nothing better on the face of God's green earth. Uh, so what could follow it? But at the same time, Pink Floyd's The Wall is such an absolutely bizarre and singular movie that it's hard to get out of that headspace and transition to Ghostbusters. But then, the counter-argument, what better than Ghostbusters to bring us back to reality? as it were. So, uh, a terrible double feature to fill in while I'm stuck at work all the day, every day, forever. Uh, Michael Ensign's Hotel Manager double feature, uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall, and Ghostbusters, and I'll see you guys next week.